I've been comic hunting in London, let's see what I got. Hi all, Peter here from Triple G Comics, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me on my comic hunt in London, which I did with Luke from Hydro Collectibles recently. Before we get into the video, if I can just encourage you to like and subscribe to my channel. If you like comic book related content, unboxings, live comic shows, toy related stuff and one sick figures this is the place for you so please check out some of the past videos and if you like that kind of stuff give us a subscribe okay guys so i was down in london recently staying over at windsor um, at the castle <laughs> um for business with with my 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 work um but i arranged to spend the the saturday with luke from hydro collectibles an amazing channel so please go and check out luke as well uh, we spent the day and we had a look around some comic shops and, um, and just had a bit of an explore, really. Luke's done a tremendous video about it, so please go and check that out. Um, I'll put a link up here for you to go and watch that. Luke's much better than me. I'm very much kind of seat of your pants, just record a load of old shade, really. Whereas Luke's much more professional and does a bit of a nice edit. And his videos, like, he got nice pictures of London. And it's like a bloody tourist video anyway. Go and check out his stuff. I, I kind of feel a bit embarrassed. Um, but I kind of feel that I've got to kind of try and compete with Luke. So, so this is my version of Woody Out. So my London adventure started at Windsor, where I was staying on a business trip at Windsor Castle. Stunning place, really recommend you go there. Whilst I was there, I was approached by this bloke who was obviously a massive fan. Honestly, you can't go anywhere. I left Windsor and then met up with Luke in London, who promises an exciting day sightseeing and visiting comic shops. I said to Luke, I want to see the true London. I want to see what London's really all about. So with that, we embarked on a journey. We had a lovely stress-free trip on the absolutely immaculate London transport system. I was fully expecting some traditional London weather, but actually on this occasion, it was bright sunshine and it was really, really pleasant. We saw some of the local vermin, I mean their wildlife, which was really, really nice. I'd said to Luke I wanted to see the true London, so I asked him to show me some traditional London folk. And here we are. Some typical people that you'll see as you wander around the streets of London. After that, we decided to grab a spot of lunch, and Luke treated us to some traditional London grub, the dirty bastard. Following a nausea-inducing meal, we decided to hitch some of the shops. London having some of the best high-end shops in the whole of the UK. Luke accidentally made me wander into Soho, which is a very um, interesting area that Luke's obviously been to many times. Of course, any trip to London is not complete without visiting some of the local celebrities. So we bumped into me gran, good old Paddington, the Queen, and Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Following that, we popped to the world-famous London Zoo to see some of the famous baboons. And then finally, we hit the comic shops. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That was my trip to London with Luke. Um, great place to visit, some tremendous shops. Really recommend you go and um, have a look at, at that. Okay, so what did I pick up? You will have seen some of these on Luke's video, but I'm just going to go over them in a little bit more detail and tell you about my thought process in buying them. There's no thought process. I just pick it up and put it in, in the till. You know what I mean? Anyway, first shop we went to was Mega City Comics. That's so diabolics. It wasn't. Before we got to Mega City Comics, we went to Camden Market and we saw this little stall at Camden Market. Really interesting. Had loads of back issues. Lots of stuff to flick through. Um, prices were, were a little bit on the high side, but he did do with some deals. Um, Luke was negotiating with the guy, trying to get him to knock some money off. Um, and the guy basically reduced some stuff that Luke was looking at, buy about a fire or something. Whilst Luke was looking at that, I found this little beauty. So, they poked me eye out. So, this is a um, copy of the UK Summer Special Incredible Hulk. Um, absolutely love that cover it's in absolutely tremendous condition as you can see there's not a spine tick on it and um, it looks absolutely beautiful now the reason i picked this up is firstly i do quite like some english copy comics i like my old uk editions and i like to show those on luke's channel on um, making sense of pens main reason i picked this up but is because the photo cover and i do quite like a photo cover and it's got bill and it's got lou Let's see the surname's good, I'm not sure what that is. Frangly. Fre no, Frangy, that's off Star Trek, isn't it? Ferngully? Ferngully, that's a TV show. I haven't got a clue. 
Um, yeah, so there was a signing opportunity with Lou um, a little while ago, which I missed out on because he cancelled, unfortunately. Um, I had picked up a book to, to send to that. Um, but I love this one. I think that's a tremendous cover. Very sad, obviously, we'll not get Bill's signature now because he's passed away. But if there's ever another opportunity to get Lou's signature, I will get it on this cover um, in a luminous green, I think. Um, yeah, like I say, absolutely bowled away with the quality of that cover. It looks stunning. Um, there's not a spine take on it. It's it's a really good condition comic. Little little corner turn there, but meh. Um, yeah, I think that was fifteen quid, and um, because the guy had been negotiating with Luke, he um, he said I could have this for a tenner, I believe. Got to take that every day, aren't I? That's a superb comic for ten pound. Okay, so from the market, we had a bit wander around and we ended up in really the main reason we went to Camden, which was Mega City Comics. So this is a comic shop that I've heard an awful lot about. I follow them on Facebook, um, but I've never actually physically been to the store. A good friend at the MJ Comics channel recently visited the shop and did a video about it um, and had a great time there. So I was looking forward to this. <laughs> So, what did I pick up? First thing I got was this. This is a Banner of War cover, um, Hulk versus Thor. As you know, if you watch my channel, I'm a massive Thor fan, and I collect um, Thor versus Hulk covers. I don't know why. I I just like them. Um, yeah, uh, and that's a particularly nice one. So I really like that. It's been on my list for a little while to try and pick up when I popped to the local comic shop. Um, saw it and just thought yeah gotta have it it's a uh, it's a very nice cover there's a lot of variants for this series most of them are naff but this is the one that really jumps out i'm saying the naff i will probably end up picking them up as well just so i can see i've got them next love it i again if you watch this channel rec regularly you'll know i'm a nostalgia freak um i don't know what happens to you you get to a certain age and you start to really kind of look back at stuff that that hits that nostalgia bone for you. So I've never wanted this comic before, never looked for it, but it was there and I had to buy it. And this is issue number one, Marvel Comics, Indiana Jones. Indy. That's my impression from the little lad in the film. Indy. Do you know what he's called? Anyway, short stuff? No. I don't know, anyway. Indy. Anyway, there we are. Indiana Jones, number one. Um, lovely cover. Great picture of Harrison Ford on the front there. And it actually looks pretty much like him, so I like that. Um, yeah, just a pure spec buy. Spec. Just a pure nostalgia buy for me. Um, I, just, I just like it. I like having it in my collection. Oh, it's lush. Oh, I love it. So another, another nostalgia buy is V. Um, v number one by DC Comics. The visitors are our friends. <laughs> Um, if you've not seen this TV series, you must check it out. The original, I would say, the original series, mini-series, is absolutely amazing. Basically about aliens who, who visit Earth. Um, I'm not going to spoil the story for you, but basically um, it, it all goes a bit tits up. Amazing storyline, some special effects which are superb for the time. Um, yeah, very, very good series, and, and I love it. I really do love it. So yeah, really pleased to see that and pick that one up. This one is a Pence copy, it's Captain America 217. Picked this one up because it is the first appearance, I believe, of Marvel Boy, I think. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's the first appearance of Marvel Boy, who later becomes Quasar, um, who's a character I really like, Gwendol Vaughan, I think he's called. Um, again, bit nostalgic, because I remember reading Quasar's original series when it came out. Um, and I loved it, absolutely loved it. He's basically the Marvel's version of Green Lantern. Um, and I'd love to see him on an MCU film, and perhaps we'll get that in the future. But I think this is the first um, appearance of him uh, in, in this comic. Uh, and you can see him in the background 
Nee, I'll zoom in there. Mm. Um, so yeah, nice book. Nice book. It wasn't very expensive. <laughs> Another great pickup, nostalgia buy. Um, again, didn't know this book existed, but this is Dark Man, um, by a movie by Sam Raimi. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, I love it. I, I just love the movie and I love the book. Again, this is really good quality issue. Again, didn't even know they did a comic of this. The film itself, really recommend you go and uh, watch that. It's got Liam Neeson in it. Um, there's a superb scene that I used to quote all the time when I was younger, um, where he's in the fair and um, <laughs> he wins an elephant. I'm chuckling to myself. You still know what I'm talking about, but who cares? Um, so there you go. Dark Man, pick it up, go watch the movie. Brilliant, brilliant comic book film. Ooh, a little bit pricey. Can't remember what I paid for them, which is probably a good thing. Um, I got to the 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 uh, till and realised I picked this up. Now, I think this was about one hundred and fifty pound. Don't even remember putting that on the pile. I mean, that's a. I've got an issue. Anyway, put it on the pile. First appearance of Alpha Flight. I think I've got the issue before. Or after this, can I remember? The one with them kind of standing in the background and the X-Men walking towards them. I think that's the first appearance. I'm not sure. I even, nah, man. I don't know, right? I bought bought it. £150. Next, we've got um, X-Men 58. This is, again, a stunning copy. This is um, first appearance of Havoc, Scott Summers' brother. Um, over the moon to have this one. Been wanting it for a while. Uh, I just love the cover. It's one of those classic covers, isn't it? Um, but yeah, again, Pence issue, I think. So, um, paid a lot of money for this one. Probably more than I should have. I should have really checked online to see what prices are. But I got excited and I just bought it. <laughs> yeah, I think I paid about. Uh, I'm embarrassed to see. I think I paid over £300 for this and I'm not sure that that's what the value of the book is. But anyway, it's a memory from London. Okay, next. Next we had a, a bit of a wander around some um, some bookshops. Luke took us to a very dodgy area of Soho um, for a comic shop, he claims. I think he spends some time there himself. Um, then we went into Forbidden Planet. And in Forbidden Planet, I picked up some trade paperbacks. You'll know if you if you uh, do watch my stuff that whilst I collect comics and I do collect key comics predominantly, I also collect action figures. Um, I also buy a lot of stuff to read because yes, I do read comics. Um, and I normally buy it in trade paperback format. If I like the story, I'll go back and buy the first issue. So I picked up Deceased Dead Planet. Follow on to DC, just Deceased, yeah. Um, which I loved, thought it was an amazing series, really liked that. So I knew that this was out, I didn't buy it in single format, so I picked this one up. So this is Deceased uh, Dead Planet, looking forward to reading that. Luke recommended this one to us, Spider-Man Life Story. So um, I like a good Spider-Man tale, I think this is all about Spider-Man's history. So again, I'm looking forward to reading that one. I've got all of these, so I picked this up, the latest volume of Ice Cream Man. Um, Again, reading it in trade paperback format, just the way I like to read them, but I have got a couple of copies of issue one. Um, love this series, recommend you get that one. This was recommended by my friends on the Nerd Herd. This is Kill or Be Killed. So this is, um, Forbidden Planet does this quite often where you get these book plates signed by the, the writers and the artists quite often. So saw that, um, remember that they'd been talking about this recently on the Nerd Herd, so picked it up because they said it was a great story. This contains issues one to five, so if I like it, I'll pick up the rest of the, yeah, the, the trade. And then finally, got Deceased um, Hope at World's End. So another one of the Deceased series. Um, yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, so that's all we pick up from a trip to London. Was that, I don't know what that was. I'm not sure if that was a London. All right, Gav, nah, that's London. Um, anyway. That's my stuff from London. Had a great time. Was lovely meeting up with Luke. Lovely going around some of the comic shops. Really recommend you check out Mega City Comics and also the uh, the Camden Market if you're up that, that neck of the woods because there was some good stuff in that guy's store. Right. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. That is your whack, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.